तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माइंडफुल कॉन्ट्रो प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सो आर टुडेज वीडियो इज वन ऑफ आर ऑडियंस डिमांड दैट हाउ डू वी हैंडल द कुकीज इन सिलेनियम बेसिकली हर मेन कंसर्न इज दैट शी डजेंट वॉन्ट टू लॉग इन इन टू द वेबसाइट इन एवरी सिनेरियो ड्यूरिंग ऑटोमेशन स्क्रिप्ट सो वेन वी ऑटोमेट अ वेबसाइट वी हैव टू लॉग इन एवरी टाइम फॉर ईच सिनेरियो so we can take the help of cookies if we want to not to log in at the website every time so basically first of all what do we mean by the cookies cookies store the info and preference of the user in a key value pair in the browser and why it is used in selenium so the cookies are used to validate the user name domain path as well as the expiry During the testing, we sometimes need to create, delete, or update cookies. So, if we don't want to log in every time into the website, our main solution is that we need to store the cookies in the text file when the user first log in through the website using automation script, and then use that cookies from the text file into the other automation script when he again log in into the website so now we will be going to see the syntax of these first of all we uh, from the cookies we have various methods like we have get cookies and the other method is get cookie named in which we need to pass the parameter to extract a specific cookie and the other is the add cookie delete cookie delete cookie named in this we need to Uh, extract or delete the specific cookie in whose name we want we have to give into the parameter and then delete all the cookies so these methods are used in the automation scripts when we want to handle the cookies so first of all we need to store the cookies from the browser in a text file so what is its coding first of all we need to make the web driver instance and then in the system dot set property we need to give the path of the chrome driver or any driver that we are using and its chrome driver where it is located now when we have made the instance then we have to give the url of the website into which we want to log in then first of all we have to log in into the website so driver dot find and element we need to write the location of the email or the username where we want to log in so by dot name email dot send keys and in send keys we have to give the email id now for web for password we need to give the password and in the send keys we have to use the password from which we have to log in now then we have to click on the continue button now our main thing that we want to discuss here is that how do we store the cookies in the text file so first of all we have to make a file with the file class now we have to use the file writer and the buffer writer then we have to take the for each loop in which we have to first take all the cookies with the help of driver dot manage dot get cookies and take it in cookies variable c now we need to use the buffered reader buffered writer object bw and write the all the parameters related to cookie in the file and then we have to close the streams so with the help of this method with the help of these lines we are going to store the cookies in the text file named as cookies.txt after storing this now for the second script we need to take these stored cookies parameters into our script so that we can store it in our browser for the next time and we don't need to log in again so now in the second method we need to read these cookies dot text file so we will take the file and using file reader and the buffer reader we will read this file cookies dot txt now we will use the string tokenizer class as we need to 
take one by one token from the text file so using the string tokenizer class we need to take the while loop and use whether the t has more tokens or not so now we need to print take the variable as string and store its value using the t dot next token so string name equals to t dot next token and same as for value for domain for path and same as for expiry now our main crux is that the expiry object is of date date data type it is not of string because expiry means date so now we will be going to take a string in which we have to take a variable and store the expiry using the new date value option now we have to take extract the cookies from the text file so for that we have to make the instance of the cookie that is cookie c equals to new cookie and in the parameter we need to give the para and we need to give the name value domain path and expiry now we you we have to use a method named add cookie so in order to store in the current session so what do we use driver dot manage dot add cookie and in braces the instance of the cookie now we have to give the url of the website into which we have to log in so what does this mean that when we are navigating to driver dot get and on the url in which we want to log in then it will automatically take the cookies from the text file and then we don't need to log in for again and again for the same website and the same automation script that means it stores the current session and i uh, i always told you that you need to put any file or anything that you can uh, you can see that it can throw any error or exception so you need to put this code in the try catch okay so that's it for today stay tuned for other videos and for any query do ping me in the comment session thank you goodbye